guys, uh, this is Kelly here, and I'm going to be doing a foundation routine. I don't do a f this foundation routine every single day. Actually, for most, like, I think 90% of my videos, I haven't been wearing makeup. Um, that's because I just have even skin tone, and I'm very lucky to have that. Um, this is what I do if I was going out for probably like a job interview I would or like somewhere going out like for the night out with the girls or a performance maybe. That's just me personally. I don't feel like I have to wear like a ton of makeup when I walk outside. The first thing I do is I make sure all my hair is back in just a, a ponytail so it's out of my way and out of my face so I can actually do it and I can blend into the hairline. Uh, the first thing I'm going to take is my foundation. I use Boots Number no. 7 Stay Perfect Foundation. It has SPF 15 and it's hypoallergenic for those that are really allergic to a lot of products in number 40 suede. I am in love with this foundation. Like this foundation stays on really well. It blends, it gives a nice coverage. I mean, since I don't have like that really problem skin, um I really haven't experienced acne, but I will get into that later in my skincare video that will be coming up soon. Uh, but yeah, I really love this foundation. So I'm going to just squeeze one pump of it like that. I'm just going to use my fingers. Um, I would recommend, this is a little bit too much, but I recommend doing um, a brush if you work working on something else. And I just dot it wherever on my cheeks oh no get the sides of my face and just anywhere I just missed okay then I take my fingers and I just rub it make sure you blend into your hairline and if, I'm looking over here because there's a mirror right here so yeah make sure you blend everywhere blend down into the neckline make sure you don't have that foundation line because that is very unattractive um just yeah if you're done with that you're going to apply your concealer now i use i use two different concealers i use one for under my eyes and then one for like problem areas. But this is my only problem area. It's not showing up that much on camera, which I like. Um, but yeah, it was really red. And that foundation took out some of the redness. So I'm going to use my Benefit Boing Concealer in number two medium. I'm just gonna take my middle finger and just rub it in there, warm it up. And get it on my finger and then I'm going to apply it just place it there and then rub it in I do have really really bad under eye circles just once you blend it and I blend it from going down here and then blend it across and then make sure you get the sides because redness appears there also and it's like you want to create a triangle motion with your concealer. And then once I do that, I like roll my finger so like it presses into my skin and it really blends. If you want, take some concealer and put it over your eyelids. I have really like noticeable veins in my eyelids. And if you have that, I would cons I would really suggest that you take it to your eyelid. And concealer on your eyelids can also act as an eyeshadow primer if you don't have one. 
So that's a really good tip right there. Okay, once we are done with that, we're going to take the second concealer and I'm using this CoverGirl concealer in shade 715 medium. And it's really dirty. I just take it on my middle finger again and I go on my nose Blend it out. No sides of the nose. You might not think that this makes a difference, but it really does because majority of women do get red right there. So if you cover that redness, it will really brighten your face. Like I am not even joking. So I'm gonna put it some on my chin because I have acne scars there from like stubborn pimples that showed up and then I don't have redness around my mouth so I'm not going to put it there but I am going to place it on this little stubborn one and when you're covering up acne just place it don't blend it too much because that's gonna blend it out way too much and you're gonna you're gonna still see your this is the nyc smooth skin pressed face powder in 702 naturally beige and it just looks like that i'm just gonna take this brush that i got in a walmart um brush thing these brushes are actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's just a, uh, take that and first press it under your eyes and like make sure that you powdered it there because nobody is going to like your concealer creasing. <laughs> the last step that I do is I take Benefit Hoola Bronzer and then I just use the brush that it comes with because my dog chewed up my bronzer brush which I'm pretty mad about but anyways I just take this brush I dip it in just very ever so lightly tap it off I don't suck it in anymore because usually when you're first contouring you go you make that fishy face, but just do it from the top of your ear all the way down. But don't bring it all the way down to near your mouth, but. Once I am done with that, I just take the brush that I powdered with and then I make sure that the bronzer is blended. And there you have it. Um, that's my finished, completed foundation routine. Um, I'm going to have a skincare routine video coming up uh, very soon. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Bye.